I was a product of the um, public school system in Calgary. And um, just to cut to the chase, um, Calgary, or at least the neighborhood that I was in at that time, was not the best place for a minority to be. I was there from grades one to eight, and uh, one to nine, and um, I never really had a fulfilling school experience. Um, my father and mother had both been blessed with very good education, so they kind of sensed what was going on, so they had the wisdom to send me to St. Michael's. And I'll never forget my first day, early September um, 1978, I was in grade 10, and I was in a room with all these new students, and suddenly it's like, I'm not the only minority here. And that itself was a unique experience for me. And this, I'm hoping, ties into the, uh, what Mr. Gardner told me about is um, global citizenship. And what an important theme that is for your school is I've worked on a TV show called Little Mosque on the Prairie. What our show's producers have done is they've taken the idea of um, humor um, as building a bridge between different cultures. And this, I think, is also an important, uh, an essence of global citizenship. Because what she's done, Zarka Nawaz, is she has basically taken Muslims, and people say, oh, Muslims on TV, that's a strange idea. Well, sadly, it's not, because if you turn on CNN, you're going to see them all the time, unfortunately, as terrorists and enemies of the West. But I bet almost everyone here has had a friend or a neighbor, or maybe is a Muslim, and they're just like us. They are you know, good citizens of the world. They're Canadians. And they have the same worries, they worry about their work, they worry about their bills, they worry about their kids, they're just like you and I. CBC sent a crew over to, um, they sent two crews, one to a Jewish home in Tel Aviv, and another one to um, a Muslim home in Bethlehem. And they filmed the family watching the show, both families. And what was ironic was that both families, both in Tel Aviv and Bethlehem, we're laughing at the same jokes. So, so fortunately for us, um, our show um, you know, now airs in about 80 countries over the world. So it's, it's been like a dream come true for an actor but, like myself, but not just because you know, of, of what it's done for us career-wise and such, but for, what it's, for, but for the little things it's done for us on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the warmest things that ever happened to me was a couple years ago, I was in Toronto filming, um, I think season three, and I was walking back to my hotel, and a man I sort of kind of eyeing me, and when it's, you know, 11.30 in Toronto, and a stranger eyes you, you, you want to be careful, right? And anyway, he came up to me, and he grabbed his hands, and he went on his knees, and he started kissing my hand. Oh, you know, this is kind of awkward. He goes, oh, no, I know you, I, and I was all quite, it was all very awkward in such a, all of a sudden situation. And then he goes, no, I watch your TV show. I go, oh, thank you, but no, stop kissing my hand. <laughs> and he, then he explains to me that his family had moved here seven years ago, and they had never really felt Canadian until suddenly they turned on the TV one day, and they saw a little moss in the prayer, and they saw that in their newly adopted country, that their newly adopted country, this great nation, Canada, would actually produce a TV show that reflected his culture. And he told me how every, um, at that time, the show was on Wednesday nights, now it's on Monday nights at 8.30. At that time it was on Wednesday nights. Um, that his whole extended family would meet in one of their relatives' house, they'd cook a huge meal, and they'd all watch Little Moss on the Prairie and, um, and have a lot of fun together. So that's a, a memory for me. Um, it's, it certainly is much, much more than a TV show. So humor built a bridge um, for that man. I think it can build bridges between all of us if we simply choose not to judge or criticize, but try to have a good laugh instead. And so in clothing, closing, I want to say that with all sincerity that being a student here changed my life. I mean, I can't think of where it would have been going on to a high school in Calgary. It was just not me. I don't, um, this dinner is an honor for those of you who have made contributions to the school. So students whose families may otherwise not be able to send their kids to the school can now attend. You're giving them an amazing gift. You're doing for them what my parents did for me, and for that you should truly be honored. Thank you.